Hi, my name is Robin Bremer, and today I want to share with you several different things that you can have cause yourself to have peace in. I know that most people out there don't have peace because they're worried or thinking about several different things. If they don't have peace about their finances, they might not have peace about their health or protection of the family or all the weird stuff that's happening in the world today, you cannot have peace over. So I'm going to share with you uh, two different ways that you can have peace. Number one is the more you know what Jesus did for you, what his blood and his body and his death gave you, the more you're going to walk in power and authority and feel in control of your situations. You see, fear comes because we lack, because we have a perceived lack of having control of a situation. If we feel like we don't have control, then we get into fear and panic. And so the first thing you need to know you see, you need to know how much and what the blood of Jesus did for you. The blood, the body, and the death of Jesus, what they did for you. And the number two knowledge that you need to have that will get you, give you peace is knowing how much God loves you. God loves you so much. He has a great love for you. He did everything he did because he wants you to be his family. And he loves you. Now let's take a look at some scriptures here. One of the ways that you can have peace is, first of all, you have to pull down the thoughts in your head, every imagination, every thought that does not line up with what is already accomplished on the cross. Because if you're watching TV and feeding yourself information that is contrary to your situation, for example, if you're sick and you're watching TV and they're saying it's flu season, these are the symptoms, this is what happens, this is what this percentage of the population has. Uh, then you're going to meditate on that and you're going to bring that about in your body. You're going to have that sickness. It's going to amplify it. But God wants you to amplify Him. And you do that by pulling down those strongholds and looking to the Word. Now there's two scriptures that are key scriptures that will bring about your peace. And you can look them up and study them on your own, but I'm going to quickly read through them. The first one is Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. It says, Surely He has borne our griefs. And if you look up the key words, what they actually mean in the language, it's surely he has borne our sicknesses, diseases, afflictions, sadness, evil, and calamity. And he carried our sorrows, which are physical, mental, pain, grief, and sorrow. But we, but he, yet he was esteemed, yet we did esteem him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, for our sin, our rebellion, our guilt punishment, for our transgression offering. He was bruised for our iniquities our guilt condition, consequences or punishment of sin, and the chastisement for our peace. Peace meaning completeness, safety, soundness in body, welfare, health, prosperity, peace, whole, entire, contentment, friendship, and covenant relationship, relationship was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Now study that out. That gives us peace. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And the other scripture that you can study is on Psalms 103, 2 through 7. And that says, Bless the, soul, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all my iniquities, who heals all my diseases, who redeems my life from destruction, and that can be anything, who crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies, and who satisfies my mouth with good things, so that my youth is renewed like an eagle. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. See, he already did it. Now he, um, he uh, enforces it when we pray. So those are the ways to get peace. Those are the scriptures to study to give you peace. My name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website, and I hope you have a blessed day.